This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now and here's a look at what's happening now. A man is in jail in connection with Sunday's homicide that left a 47 year old man dead. Omaha police booked 59 year old Ricky Bradbury for first degree murder and weapons charges. Officers responded near 24th and Poppleton just after 2 a.m. Sunday. That's where they found 47 year old Charles Rockwood. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The Test Nebraska program opened up three new sites on Wednesday. One is at the College of St. Mary near 70th and Mercy. The other two are in Seward and Clay Center. That's in addition to the sites at the CHI Health Center, Lincoln and Hastings. On Friday, state testing will also take place in Beatrice and Kearney. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Stephan with this latest weather update. And we're expecting, again, some cloud cover. Shouldn't be a surprise, but I think we're finally going to get rid of some of this as we go through the early morning hours and especially into the afternoon. Now, there's still going to be some rain ongoing, but mainly over southwestern Iowa, northwestern Missouri, and southeastern Nebraska. So that's where some of the more heaviest uh, potential for rain will be. Well, areas to the north of I-80 actually get more sunshine early in the day. Morning lows in the upper 50s and low 60s. By the time we get to lunchtime, Time, check out what happens. We finally start to see a little bit more of a break in the cloud cover, a little more sunshine across the area. Rain still ongoing down to the south, but it really starts to dry up as we get into the evening hours. And we're looking at most everybody by this point dealing with mostly sunny skies as the sun's starting to go down. But our afternoon high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s, which is very seasonable for this time of the year. And then late in the evening on Thursday, early Friday morning, we've got another weak front passing through. That's going to drop us back to 74, an absolutely beautiful end to the work week with mostly sunny skies and some light winds. By Saturday, though, got a chance for rain, and I think most of that probably occurring during the morning hours and then maybe some spotty activity in the afternoon and evening. Still a chance for rain early on Sunday. Jump up to about 73 after that 69 on Saturday, and then the heat really starts building in here by the early part of next week with highs back in the mid and even upper 80s. Stuck at home? We've got you covered. My pizzas are baked to perfection in a 450-degree oven, hands-free after bake. From oven to box to your door. Call me, Godfather's Pizza. Do it.